now we will solve one problem on vector line integral okay and the problem is if vector f is equal to x square i plus x y j evaluate integral over c f dot dr from 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 1 along first question the line y is equal to x second along the parabola y is equal to root x okay now we need to call the integral which we need to evaluate as i okay first we will call this as i and the given question is we need to find out i along the line we need to evaluate this i along the line y is equal to x and also along the parabola y is equal to root x so first we will consider first along the line y is equal to x okay and now before that we will find out f dot dr so for that write f given in the question and then write what is r okay position vector x i plus y j so vector r is equal to x i plus y j apply differential operator you will get dr is equal to dx i plus dy j okay then find out f dot dr dot product of f and dr so it will be x square into dx plus x y into dy and you know that i dot i and j dot j will be 1 okay and now i is equal to the given integral integral over c f dot dr and now substitute f dot dr that is dot product of f and dr so after substitution we need to evaluate this along the line y is equal to x so we will consider first question so in the first question they have given y is equal to x that you will write and find out differentiation that is write dy is equal to dx so the meaning is y you are writing as x and dy you are writing as dx so the integral to be converted to a single variable x okay so if x is here then you need to you need to write the variation of x only in the upper limit and lower limit place okay that you can find out from the question only so you are evaluating this integral from 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 1 the meaning is x is varying from 0 to 1 y is also varying from 0 to 1 okay so in the first question taking y is equal to x we have this substitution so in f dot dr you are putting y is equal to x so here x square as it is dx as it is plus as it is x also you have written as it is in the place of y you have written x so x into x x square and dy to be written as dx so the function converted to single variable x so write the variation of x from 0 to 1 ok so now integrate x square with respect to x that is x cube divided by 3 2 will be as it is apply limit from 0 to 1 so on simplification you will get the answer as 2 divided by 3 so i is equal to 2 by 3 is the final answer for first question ok now coming to second question now coming to second question we need to evaluate i along the parabola y is equal to root x ok so first you write y is equal to root x and for our convenience just to uh, you remove the square root so to remove square on both sides so y square is equal to x and now we will write as x is equal to y square ok and now to convert i to a single variable you are having the substitution x is equal to y square x you are going to write in terms of y ok and now find out dx dx is equal to 2y into dy so x and dx you are substituting like this so the integral will be converted to an expression I mean the function will be converted to the function which contains y ok single variable y so write the variation of y y is varying from 0 to 1 ok now use all these things in i ok now you write i i is equal to integral over c will be integration from 0 to 1 ok x you are writing as y square so y square whole square and dx is nothing but 2y into dy that also you have substituted plus x in the place of x you are writing y square 
and y dy as it is and on simplification of the function you will get 2 into y to the power 5 plus y cube into dy on taking dy common okay and now integrate 2 as it is integration of y to the power 5 is y to the power of 6 divided by 6 applying limit from 0 to 1 and second term integration of y cube that is y to the power 4 by 4 applying limit from 0 to 1 and on simplification you will get i is equal to 7 divided by 2 so second question answer is 7 divided by 12